Lass nicht jeden an deine Vorsorge. Oh, that was absolutely adorable. I would totally let him be in charge of my finances. Uh, excuse me, what was that? Well, that was an adorable raccoon in a commercial for a Swiss bank called Frankly. And where was the rabbit? Why does it need to have a rabbit in it? I mean, you're not exactly known for finances. Uh, have you not heard? It's the year of the rabbit. All these commercials, all these commercials should be rabbit themed to celebrate it. I mean, do you need, do I need to get my giant tune hammer? What's it a hammer? Uh, do I get any choice in this? No. No, but Look, um, you know. I've got this, want, if uh, you what? want this, here. Uh, the dynamite stick? Yeah. This has escalated a bit fast. Well, do it then. Okay, fine, you want bunny ads? Here's yes. some bunny ads. What a beautiful advert. It really Aww. is. It was created for 2023, of course. Uh, this advert celebrates the coming together of family with Coke. Um, it's pretty adorable, though, I must admit. And I really love the red tipped ears on one of the rabbits. It's a great touch. Uh, could really look good on someone's persona, I think. I love the Coca Cola hot plate. I mean, you can win as well. I mean, though, sadly, it, it doesn't have any, like, rabbits printed on it anywhere. Really was shoved in there, but it is so beautifully tacky. Mm, I'll say. Uh, now, I suspect it will probably also come as no surprise, really, to learn that Coca-Cola has created quite a few other rabbit commercials in its time. Maybe not as many as, say, polar bears, but here's a classic one that they made from 1988 for Diet Coke. Just for the start. Roger, what are you doing here? Please, Eddie. I just came to see Jessica and to have a Diet Coke. Diet Coke. She's a nut that drives a soon loony. <laughs> Diet Coke and Roger Rabbit. Eee, I love everything Roger Rabbit. He can sell me anything. Of course. Any time. <laughs> can he sell you Disneyland, though? A perfect day in two There's something new at Disneyland. Ready! Hop in, Roger. And it's out of control. Moving, spinning, swerving, sliding, and it never stops. Well, almost never. It's the new Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin in Mickey's Toontown. You're in control. You're out of control. But can you escape the dreaded dip? <laughs> Head for Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, you at Disneyland, and step on it. Bye. This is fun! I love this ride, it's so awesome. I love that we actually got to do this in Tokyo Disney. Yeah, I think you actually made us go on that ride like eight or nine times. Nah. Um, you know, ten. it's a good ride though, still. But it is a shame that they don't bring that suit out so often anymore. Yeah, I so, so want to steal it. Wait, stealing? That's, uh, that's, isn't that better left to us raccoons? Oh, I don't know. I mean, what about Trix? I mean, he always tries to steal cereal. Um, true. And, uh, well, speaking of Trix, well, naturally I have to include one of his adverts in this rabbit special, don't I? Yes. Um, and now as a general rule on this channel, I don't like to get too political, but... <laughs> and I say to you, are rabbits never to taste Trix, the fruit-flavored cereal? No. Are rabbits never to enjoy the tricks, real fruit colors? Raspberry red, lemon yellow, orange orange? Never. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. Wait, this is not the American way. All you kids watching is your chance to vote on it. Look for these specially marked boxes of tricks. On the back, there's a voting ballot. Vote yes if you want the rabbit to get tricks. 
Vote no if you don't want the rabbit to get tricked. Or send a postcard with your vote to Box 3, Minneapolis, Minnesota. You can send in as many votes as you like. Silly rabbit. Tricks off for kids. But maybe I'll get a box if you send in a yes vote for the rabbit. Spoiler alert here, I think the no vote won. Mm, well, I'm not so sure. Well, what kind of cruel bastards chose no? Honestly, it really is true. Kids can be so cruel. We can? Thanks, Mom! Ow! Cut out, Bart! <laughs> now, let us hop over to somewhere I always enjoy the commercials from because, let's face it, they are <laughs> quirky. Uh, France, and in particular, French connectionary brand Lutti. Oh, I love those sweets. Um, they're so sour. You make some damn good sour sweets, France. Congratulations. The rabbits, though. Uh, it was never really that much of an appeal for those rabbits. I don't like them. Yeah. No, I mean, same. They are massively overused. They are used to sell everything. Seriously. From cars to insurance to Yoohoo glue. Yes, I'm being serious there. Yeah. And even Meccano. And today I learned that Meccano is still a thing. Never really liked it much as a kid. You know, mine always rusted. Uh, compared to Lego, anyway, it's just boring. It's not uh, fun colored or anything. It really is impressive how much they use the rabbits, though, to sell shit. I mean, uh, any other rabbit or even rabbits being used to sell quite as much stuff? Not sure. I mean, Bugs Bunny has got to be close. It's been used to sell everything under the sun. Like in this advert. Sleep around here? What's all the racket? Uh, what's up? Chuck! I was only kidding! Yeah. Gruesome, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> of course you know this means war. That's all, folks. Believe well, that's my line. I would so love to get some official merchandise from that era. I have a new Toon uh, Tune Squad jersey, but my god, that was overpriced. Uh, I looked, I couldn't find anything on eBay from then, but they did have this Marv in the Martian t-shirt from 1993, a steal at £299. Uh, no. Next! Oh, well, <clears throat> okay, if you don't want that, how about this advert from Japan instead? Wow, everyone seemed to like that rabbit. And, well, why not is the mascot of Japanese building and maintenance company, Konix. Uh, you know, one look at their website and you will see a lot of bunnies there. I mean, look, this one's dressed as a janitor, this one's security, <laughs> and this one's building maintenance. I love that they've got the hard hat with rabbit ears. I love Very that cute. too. See, us rabbits are useful. We keep buildings running. True. And um, you also like noodles, apparently, according to, well, our final advert today from Nissan. Oh, yeah. うまそう。やっぱ塩だな。俺は醤油派っすね。だって。いただきます。あれ生麺じゃん。いやいや、袋麺っすよ。生麺だって。<笑><笑> 
まるで生麺くそー<笑>まんまとやられちまってんじゃねえか<笑><笑>まるで生麺日清ラオーデコアラオカメラブーディ How many people are going to get that reference? Enough!、Uh, it is very true. My camera bird has made that noise on the channel more times than I care for. My main concern with that advert, though, is well, one, why were they all robots? That's not really covered. And two, <laughs> why do they have no feet? Well, I mean, he worked in Samurai Pizza Cats. I mean, they're all robots, too. And、well, admittedly, they do have feet, though. But should robots really be eating ramen? I mean, is it really safe for them? I mean, can they have something else instead? I suppose you're not having trying to get it. Ah,、oh, dear. So if you speak Japanese and、uh, understand more of this advert, please do let me know. I'm actually really curious. But anyway, that was a selection of rabbit commercials to celebrate, well, the Year of the Rabbit. Was it good enough for you, Theo? Uh, well, you know, it was good enough. More rabbits would be good, you know. So you're not going to blow us up now? No. Well, that's good. But never satisfied not yet, quite、anyway. entirely, though. Seriously, high standards here. <clears throat> Oh, dear. Still, I hope you enjoyed them at home. If you did, please click that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and ring that shiny notification bell to find out when new videos drop.、Um, if you'd like to support us further, there's a link to our Patreon below, as well as our merchandise store, where you can buy fun Shadow Raccoon and, of course, Theodore Rabbit t shirts too. I'm Shadow Raccoon. And I'm Theodore Rabbit. We'll see you next time. The year of the rabbit, everyone. Bye, everyone. Yay!